Hey, Danny Van here. A heartfelt welcome to you if you are returning and if this is your first time, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to talk about reprogramming ourselves. I know a lot of us, we want to make changes. We want to quit doing something. We want to start doing something. We want to reprogram our life. So I want to talk about four steps to reprogram your life. And these four steps are acknowledge, understand, remember, and utilize. So we all want to program our lives because we know that we can create something better for ourselves, right? So we want to make these changes that will lead to a more fulfilling life. And this life is one that is filled with joy and success, but many of us don't know how to go about making these changes. If that's you, let me know in the comments because we don't want, we don't have the knowledge or the tools, or maybe we do have a bunch of head knowledge, but we haven't utilized those tools. So we might not understand the science and the psychology behind, you know, how to reprogram your life or may not have access to the resources that can help you do so, right? So we might have limited access to these things. We also may feel overwhelmed by the amount of work involved in making these changes. So it's like, oh my God, I got to do what to make these changes? Yeah, I know where they're coming from. But all of these factors can make it difficult for us to take the necessary steps in order to reprogram our lives. So I am here to tell you that it's not that difficult as you might think. And these are the four steps to get started. So with number one, we mentioned already, acknowledge, become aware, pay attention to the things you want to change in your life. So you have to start becoming aware and pay attention because awareness and attention are vital when it comes to reprogramming your life because your attention will allow you to identify and address the underlying causes of your current patterns and habits, right? Because patterns and habits can be reprogrammed, but the first step is becoming aware of and acknowledging them. Many times we might not want to look at it. So therefore you're skipping the very first step and acknowledging that, okay, something's got to give, something's got to go, something's got to change. So this first step is going to help you recognize the triggers that lead to certain behaviors and make conscious choices about how to respond to them rather than reacting, right? So we're now making a choice on how to respond instead of reacting and falling back into old patterns and behaviors by becoming aware and paying attention to your thoughts. We don't think about that. It's like our thoughts will sometimes lead us in a certain direction. And pay attention to your feelings. I know a lot of us might not like to talk about our feelings. So just pay attention to how your body is responding. Is it tight and constricted or is it loose and relaxed? Pay attention to how your body is communicating with you. And then your feelings by paying attention by how your body is communicating with you because your these feelings are basically the result of how the body is responding tight or relaxed and then you can begin to make these changes in your life that will create lasting positive transformation so awareness and attention they'll also help you develop a new healthier habits that will help you to create the life you desire. So start to pay attention to your habits, what you're doing, become aware. This is the first step. Then once you're aware that you might have this habit, the next thing is to understand. We want to understand what change it is you want to make and then how to go about it. Maybe have a deeper understanding. It's like, Oh, when this happened to me when I was five years old, I realized that this behavior or this pattern is a defense mechanism. 
So you start to recognize these things and then understand, have understanding, empathy, and sympathy for yourself, for these learned behaviors. And sometimes these behaviors were given to us. So when you have this comprehension and understanding, this is vital when it comes to reprogramming your life because it's going to allow you to gain insight into the underlying causes of your current situation and then begin to identify the steps you need to take in order to make these changes that you want in your life. And understanding why you are stuck in a certain pattern of behavior or thought process, this can help you identify what needs to be changed in order to create this lasting transformation or create a reprogramming. So additionally, understanding the various components of your current situation, what's going on in your life right now, this can help you identify areas that need improvement or areas that can be used as a foundation for further growth. This is where you can jump off from. And the comprehension and understanding can also help you to stay motivated, right? So how many times have we tried something and fallen right back into our old patterns and our old behaviors? It's going to take some motivation to keep going and some focus on the little tasks that you'll set up and do because these little tasks that you do day in and day out really begins to transform and reprogram your life because they're gonna provide you with a sense of direction and purpose. So it's very important to have this understanding. Number three is remembering. Remember the changes you wanna make and why you wanna make them. So we might write down some goals, yeah, I wanna do that. And then we're off doing something else in days, weeks, months might go by. And then you go back and realize, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about these goals. I didn't remember the changes that I wanted to make. So, and then why you want to make them. The why doesn't matter. You can set up a goal and it's to make my partner happy or to make my child happy. What To make yourself happy should be the number one goal because I just want to experience joy. This is an awesome way to help you remember and by being focused and clear on what that goal is, is also vital in part of remembering what that is. And this is important because the changes that you want to make and why you might want to make them when it comes to reprogramming your life, because it allows you to stay motivated and focus on the end goal. Because sometimes getting there can be frustrating. You might have to go a little bit this way, and then you gotta kind of have to go this way. Then you might have to back step this way in order to keep going toward that goal. And it requires some motivation because changing behavior, especially deep rooted behaviors, it's not easy to do that. It takes motivation and allows you to achieve these smaller tasks, have some successes and achievements and they add up and it helps you to stay on track. And also you begin to measure your progress and make any adjustments that you need on your course as you're moving forward through time and space, as you're moving forward to your goal. So those actions, the next step becomes very clear. You'll find that if you're not making progress and you might wanna go back and take a look at your goal, is it clear? Having a clear goal will also help you stay motivated and helps you push through those obstacles that you may encounter along the way. And we can look at those obstacles as either stumbling blocks or stepping stones. You can step on that obstacle and use it to propel yourself forward because it helps keep you accountable. And it makes it easier to stay on track. And I know sometimes I find it difficult with everything going on in the world. I have to say no to a lot of things in order to stay on track. And lastly, having clear goals helps you stay organized and makes it easier to prioritize those tasks and manage your time more efficiently. 
And so we all go through this and taking those steps, not just writing them out, but looking at, okay, today I'm just going to do this one small thing toward my goal. The next day you do that one small thing toward that goal. And every single day, you're going to make some efficient time and space movement toward your goal. So now, number four. Number four is to utilize how much information, how many workshops, how many courses, how many books have you read that are, that are just in your head, but you haven't used them. So this fourth goal is so important. You might have all the head knowledge, but it's doing you absolutely nothing if you don't utilize it. So put the changes into action. Like I said, one little small step, one little task each day moving you towards the goal. And then applying what you learn and reprogramming the changes into action. This is vital when it comes to reprogramming your life because it allows you to put your new knowledge into practice and see results. So faith without works is death, right? So you have the goal, you have the dream, where you want to go, and then life takes you away. You know, the news takes up your time. Social media takes up more time than you care to admit. So utilizing these four steps is so vital in taking forward movement toward your goal and reprogramming your life because now you can take this new knowledge and put it into practice and it helps to develop new habits and behaviors that are in line with your goals, right? Makes sense, right? It also helps to create a sense of accountability and ownership for your life as you actively take steps toward the things you want to create or not take steps. So taking accountability, like I didn't do that thing. Therefore, this is why I, I haven't achieved my goal. I own it. So we're not blaming anybody else or anything else for not taking the goal. We're taking full responsibility for our own goals. And then it helps to develop these habits and behaviors that are in line with your goal. So if your goal is to lose some weight, it's not going to help when you have a refrigerator full of food that is encouraging you to maintain or stay at this weight. So we're going to have to take some steps to create the life that you want. And reprogramming your life requires a willingness and a commitment. You have to commit to these changes that you want to take in your life and that you want to make in your life. So it is only through taking these actionable steps that the things that you've learned can begin to manifest and show up in your life. And these will help you make the changes necessary in order to reprogram your life. So there you have it, heartfelt. These are the four steps that you begin to take in order to reprogram your life. No more excuses. What are you waiting for? It's time to get started with acknowledging where you're at, with taking an understanding and noticing, and then remembering all of the knowledge you have and utilizing that and putting it into practice. So with that, a heartfelt thank you for being here. And please let me know in the comments what you like and what you would like more of. And in the meantime, keep being amazing.